Your fourth step in developing a social media strategy, participate and promote. Let's face it, the internet's an incubator for innovation and exploration. It's also a very crowded place where millions of people are vying for attention. So you see gimmicks, you see things that try to get folks' attention. Observe them, and sure, try them. But see if you can get relevant and they're not just there for shock value. I came across this, I thought this was funny, humor's not universal, but if a billion people join this group, Mark is allowed to get a Labrador. It's probably a bet between father and son or somebody staging that scenario just as, as a test to see how many folks will engage. 123,000 folks, that's pretty neat. Would you do this on your business page? I don't think so, it's not relevant, it's not about what your strategy is most likely. However, I did see this, a copywriter friend of mine in the Philadelphia area, area wrote, the ultimate in recycling, buy antiques for people on your holiday gift list. Would this be totally out of place on your site? Not really, I think it's kind of a neat human angle to throw out there, keeping it on topic of recycling, but not being the same down to business thing. And again, it's the perfect time of year for that. Back to our fraud client. There are ways to comment on news of the day articles that make you look pretty smart and also play on a theme. Underlying theme of insurance fraud is dishonesty, of course, the lies that people tell to get something they don't deserve. So here he took an opportunity to comment on an article where a cancer patient's uh, donation jar was stolen. And he leads saying, anyone else disgusted with dishonesty, stealing a 12-year-old cancer victim's donation jar, and he puts the, the URL, didn't get on the soapbox and talk about insurance fraud, but by being part of something categorically honesty or dishonesty, uh, believe that just adds a little more texture to your conversations and maybe finds another person or so who will come to your page and like you or connect with you. Lastly, measure and refine. I know a lot of you have questions about ROI. How do I measure? What role do the numbers play in determining success? You see numbers all over the place every time you go to a page. Uh, is a million good? A million sounds good, but what if they're not the right people? You have to kind of put this whole realm of metrics and numbers into perspective too. Simply put, I say, match metrics to content and movement. As you're changing information on your site, as you're even doing things with other mediums, watch the movement to see what moves people. What do they become engaged with? Monitor all communications to evaluate the effectiveness of the overall integration. Again, you have your plan mapped out by this time, so make sure that you're monitoring everything because this is the total conversation, not just social media. Identify measures of value beyond numbers. Can you use your social media presence, for example, uh, as a, a display of expertise? There's value in that. Can you use your Facebook page to include information on your next event? There's value to that too. It's not necessarily all about the raw numbers of folks who are coming to your site. But choose quality connections over quantities of those less engaged. You want your loyalists, you want those who are part of what you do. You don't need the numbers solely for the sake of adding numbers to your site. In recap, those five steps to developing an effective social media strategy should put you on the right track. Observe and learn, establish objectives, develop a plan, enter confidently and engage, participate and promote, measure and refine. Be well prepared for the journey into social media and you'll find many opportunities, but embark with an integrated mindset so all your communications work in tandem. And that's what I talked a lot about today, integration. That's at the core of your success. 
We do have some questions, Joe, from the um, question box. Cool. One of them is, what about small town environmental organization on a tight budget, an organization that cannot afford a fancy website? What is the best way to develop an online presence? Money is a factor, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think that that might be the exception <laughs> to the website presence. I think a Facebook presence is a legitimate presence for a nonprofit organization, a activist organ get organizations and things like that. However, you do have to remember too though that things could change within that realm that could close you down. Mm -hmm. Um, one of our clients, uh, Pennsylvania Library Association, had kind of a rally around the library's Facebook page uh, just for that particular cause. And Facebook has some weird rules. There was something about too many people being on it too quickly or something like that. And um, they have to retool. They have to start another one. And they're not allowing them to keep all their connections. What do you think about multiple team members contributing to social media? Is it good to have multiple voices or just one? I think it's a beautiful thing if there's integration. I think that more organizations, for example, some of the, the examples that I showed you, if you have multiple folks within your organization who are spurring conversation, looking at it from different angles, you come off as a team. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of see what's going on, but also it's not the same voice up there time and time again, because if you have the same person posting all the time, it's not that far off from what I call the soapbox. Anymore. But in the same respect, they would all need to be following that plan, and that's why the planning stage is so important. Absolutely. Absolutely. If they're having stray conversations or if it's not on point, there isn't a point to that. But if you're all speaking from the same game plan, and believe me, it's sometimes better to sit down at the, the war room table, map out what the conversations are. They don't have to be spontaneous. Certain things can be spontaneous to the news of the day or the news within the industry, but uh, really the more you plan, the more intelligent you look and the more strategically you can get across by having prepared for that and sometimes even have the entries written. Speaking about those conversations, and I know that it's an area where a lot of people fear engagement in social media, we have a question in regards to, what if you have a comment on your page that you do not approve of or want on there? Do you just erase them or engage in a conversation with that person who posted? Excellent question. There's a couple of different angles to that. One, the type of posting that it is, if it's offensive, if it's um, containing verbiage that's not appropriate for your site, then that, should, that just goes off, delete it. If it's just in opposition to your point of view, or even a customer who's not satisfied, uh, if you know the individual, certainly connect with them one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. via email or direct call or however you do it. But don't delete their comment. Mm -hmm. Show that you react to that and that you respond to it. Not everybody agrees with everything, but the more that you show you're not all one-sided, uh, you come off as a more human, a more understanding uh, organization. I think that's a, it's, a, it's a really tricky thing. You know the kinds of firms, uh, whether they be retail or whatever, that really hate customer comments. Oh my gosh, I had five negative comments. You're a restaurant. Be glad they said something mm -hmm. versus not coming and wondering why you lost five customers over the last week. Well, and I think it speaks to the old adage that uh, the way you handle a situation is more memorable than the actual situation. So. Absolutely. That'll go away quickly, the, the situation, but how you handled it, like you said, Kirsten, it really, really comes into play. And it should be part of your brand personality as a responsive organization, as someone who listens and or cares respond accordingly.